So anybody who has RV'd in hot weather knows that these things can be very difficult to keep cool. Uh, that's attributable to a lot of different factors, everything from the way that your RV is insulated to the amount of uh, roof surface you have, how many air conditioners you have, and a lot of those things obviously we can't do anything about. It is what it is. The insulation in my ceiling and in my walls is what it is. I'm not probably going to be able to improve that. So I want to focus on some things that we can improve within our RVs to keep them cooler. And one of the biggest things that we can do is dealing with this air conditioner in the bedroom and the, and the living room. See, the problem is we don't have good airflow. Even though this has a racetrack system that is supposed to help to move the air back and forth throughout the RV, a lot of times we just sit there and we think, why is this, why can we not feel it? We hear it running, we hear it blowing, but we're not getting cool. So one of the biggest problems is apparently with the design of these air conditioners. And we're gonna try to address that today with a new product that we just have found out about called Air RV Airflow Systems. And uh, Richard is gonna come by from RV Airflow Systems and install what is supposed to help improve our airflow. So we're gonna walk you through that step by step and hopefully we're gonna have a better experience and an easier time keeping our coach cool. My name is Richard Stark. This is my wife Joanne. We own RV Airflow Systems. So let's talk a little bit about what RV Airflow Systems is and what RV Airflow Systems is all about. So this big empty space here is what we call the plenum. So the problem I discovered, which is industry-wide, every trailer on the market has this issue. So this is the discharge port of the air conditioner right here. So all the air from that air conditioner blows straight down and hits the cover plate on the bottom here, which for air is like a big brick wall. As a result, this air is getting caught up in a lot of turbulence. Now the ducting, you can see this opening right here. This opening is for the ducting. That's what feeds all the ceiling vents up and down the rig. So again, all this air from the air conditioner gets caught up in turbulence. So only a portion of the air from the air conditioner is actually getting into the ducting. I started on a solution for this problem. So let's talk about what our product is. So after months of trial and error, this is what we came up with. So simply what we're doing, we applied a little bit of engineering and fluid dynamics to this, uh, this issue. So with this product, what we're doing is capturing 100% of the air from the air conditioner and delivering it smoothly into the ducting. We're eliminating all the air friction that occurs in that plenum. So what this does, it virtually doubles the airflow from the air conditioner into the ducting system. Now let's say for example that 15,000 BTU air conditioner sitting on the roof there, with this issue, with all the turbulence in the plenum, the air reduces the BTU capacity of that air conditioner down to about a 9,000 BTU. So with this product, all we're doing is allowing that air conditioner to operate at its, at its designed capacity. So that's simply what our product does. So the material that we're using, uh, this is a three pound high density uh, EPS. It's all molded. Now, one of the reasons that we're using this type of material, we've spared no expense with the material. This material will never break down over time. It will never absorb or maintain moisture, which makes it mold resistant and so forth. So we offer a lifetime guarantee on our product. So some of the, um, some of the procedures we go through, this rig that we happen to be in right now, this is a 2018 Grand Design Solitude. And it's got two Coleman air conditioners on it. What we like to do in our testing, you know, we're going to do airflow testing first. We want to get before and after results. 
So we're using a commercial grade anemometer to do our airflow testing and also we have a decibel meter, commercial grade decibel meter. So we're going to check the decibel level as well. So that's what we're going to do. That's our procedure today. And uh, after we get airflow readings and that sort of thing, we're going to do a couple of installs in this rig. We're going to install these kits. So we'll come back in a few minutes. Hey YouTubers, this is the perfect opportunity to remind you, if you enjoy this channel, make sure you click the subscribe button right there in the right hand corner, followed by that bell and make sure you click all. That way you never miss an important and exciting update from The Happy Campers. We now return you to your regularly scheduled programming. Okay, so we're back again. So we completed all our airflow testing. Um, we tested airflow with each individual air conditioner and then the combination with both of them running at the same time. So we're gonna start our install on this front air conditioner. Uh, this air conditioner is in the bedroom. It's easier for me to get to so I don't have to call up and down the step stool. It's a little bit easier. Alright, so the next thing we do, we want to look at the plenum here. Remember, these are the duct openings. Now you can see that this opening right here is only about 5 inches. So we've got more ducting that they've actually taped up right here. So we're just going to poke this through and find the edge of that ducting. Why did they do that? Is that because we were the air, air separator plate was that? Yep, exactly. So, we're going to do the same thing with the opposite side. You can see, so we're just going to push that back. See how much more of the ducting it opens up there? And it fits in there just fine now. system is installed and it's operating. Uh, Richard has done the, the testing on everything within our unit and given us some final answers. Let's talk first though about impression. The impression throughout the coach is you feel move, uh, you feel air moving everywhere you walk. In fact, I'm standing right here and it's blowing down the back of my leg and I get a little chill. Okay, that's, that's the first thing you notice is just how much air is moving. The, the air conditioners are a couple of decibels quieter, not super impressive, but they were never very loud anyway. Uh, these racetrack systems tend to be very quiet. So that was negligible gain. But most importantly, you feel the air. And then secondly, uh, it's about 86 degrees outside. 
we had the air conditioners off for the install and we were close to 80 degrees on the inside when we turned them on. Within about a half an hour, both units were at set point of 72 degrees. Full sun, eight degrees within a half an hour throughout the entire coach. I mean, we would, we would take five, six hours to get down to 72 degrees and we would never get there in the heat of the day. We would just maybe maintain like 80 degrees or 78 degrees. So the impression is huge. Uh, very, very impressed with that. But let's talk about the numbers. So um, with both units running, front and back units on high, before the install, we were pushing 6,473 cubic feet per minute. That's how you measure airflow. Uh, we were pushing 6,473 cubic feet per minute through the coach. After the install, we're now pushing 13,062 cubic feet per minute. That is a huge jump for a difference, actually a gain of 6,589 cubic feet per minute. So we more, this is what we gained, this is what we had. We more than doubled the amount of cubic feet per minute that we're pushing through the coach, which obviously means your air conditioners are gonna run more efficiently, they're gonna run less, your coach is gonna be more comfortable. And I gotta tell you, I was not necessarily a believer. I kind of felt like maybe this was a gamble. We, uh, we heard about this product last year at the rally, and I thought, eh, I mean, Richard's a great guy, I really like him, but I think this is a little scammy. I'm not sure I believe in this. Well, I'm a believer now. I mean, as I sit here kind of shivering. It's cold in here. <laughs> it's cold in here. <laughs> the guy's gonna, gonna save us so much heat when we get down into the Phoenix area. So I gotta give two thumbs up to RV Airflow Systems. If you are having troubles cooling your coach, get it, get in touch with Richard Stark. Uh, check out their website, rvairflowsystems.com. Maybe, maybe I'll leave that out because I'm not sure that's right. I'll put it at the bottom of the screen and definitely in the links below. But two thumbs up. This is all you need to know right here. That is huge. Do this to your rig and you will be so glad you did. Thanks everybody, have a great day.